I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger. Hey y'all. Just wanted to give y'all our weekly update about our little trucking business and stuff. I did, and I also want to let you know I'm not going to be doing any more numbers for quite a while. Because as some of y'all know that's watched the last videos, I finally got my direct shipper and, you know, trade secrets and stuff. I don't want to give away too much information. Um, but we're in, we're in our second week of working with our direct shipper. And, you know, there's some great things about having a direct shipper and there's some not so great things about having a great direct shipper. Now, I've been working for this for a long time. I started wanting to do this when my company lost the haul to somebody that underbid them. That's when I discovered that this company don't do contracts. You know, you bid for the work pretty much. So, uh, let's just go over some of the great things. With this shipper, I'm home every night and the weekend. Uh, sometimes I pull a weekend when I have to fill in, like for a holiday, or you know they couldn't receive a load somewhere, they got a new store opening or something. I go then on the weekend, um, so that's cool. That helps me get in a great routine with the family, and it just it's really nice to have that again. What video you're watching right here is one of the places that I went, I go to. Is how tight it is to get around in some of these places. This is not even close to the worst. But right on the edge of where my front right tire is going to be is a drop off. And somebody that wasn't paying attention would bust a tire or tear up a tie rod in, you know, so forth and so on. You had to be really careful at a lot of these places because there's some soft spots here and there. There's some blind spots. You have to blindside back into a lot of them. And it, it can be very difficult. you got to cross traffic. Backing up cross traffic, you know, in a few places, across four lanes of traffic, it's not fun. Even with people blocking traffic, it can be quite interesting. Um, another good thing about having a shipper is I don't have to chase down a load board. I don't have to go out after a load when I, you know, I enjoy it a little bit, but after a while it gets old, especially when the rates drop and the fun is gone, you know. <laughs> the fun is gone when the rates are dropping and you're out there, you're just trying to make what you want to make for your minimum. <laughs> so that takes a lot of the fun on a low boarding. That's another good thing about having the direct shipper. You don't have to get out there and beg, borrow, and steal. Then also, I know where I'm going ahead of time. This deal here, I know what which direction I'm going each day. I can tell you this week what direction I'll be going next week. See, I had to back up right there because the trailer is so close to that wall there. If you don't get your swing just right, you'll end up grinding on a trailer. And that ain't no good either. Some of the not-so-great things... I've talked to a couple of the guys about it. Is my wife really does not like the fact that it don't feel like we are our own boss anymore. Because I have gave verbal guarantees for my service. And uh, it just kind of feels like some days that I'm under a boss again. Under a dispatcher of sorts. And that's one thing that she really ain't crazy about because she had got used to the other way of going. You know, I just dispatched myself and took off whenever. But this is a regularly scheduled programming, <laughs> per se. You know, is you're going to be there to take the load. You know, you got to deliver on time. You have to pick up on time. Another bad thing is with this... I have a whole bunch of stops every day. And each stop, you know, you're dealing with different people. 
And some people are good and some people are bad, just like in any business. And I also have to physically unload everything on my trailer. So, dealing with all of that can be a little bit overwhelming towards the end of the week. And honestly, at the end of last week, it had me questioning if this is what I really wanted to do. Because the last two days last week were rough. I ended up down in Defuniac Springs on Friday. And then Saturday, I had to go all the way back down to Fort Walton Beach. We have lost contact with some people that was down around Panama City, Florida. Mariana, Florida. Um, one guy they still have not heard from since just before the storm, sadly. But yes, there's the long days and there's, you know, you, you're guaranteed to be there in order to keep the haul. It's just like with a dispatcher. If you don't take the load a dispatcher gives you, they're going to stop giving you loads. And that's how you have to operate with something like this. You tell them you're going to be there and you're there. You pull your end of the bargain so that you can keep hauling for your shipper now you can tell them no and you can do other things but that don't guarantee you're going to come back and just today one of the guys told me that they're planning on using me every day that is the plan going forward so i'm happy about it i'm really happy i'm glad I'm going to be at the house every night and on the weekends and I'll have my holidays off so that's going to be great and with the physical unloading that's good and bad the good is it's going to get me back in athletic shape I'm going to be able to go and hopefully drop a few pounds especially if I can watch my diet and not running nights I'll eat a lot less <laughs> Because when you're running nights out there like I did, you eat a lot. Just trying to stay awake. Because there's a lot of tricks you can use to stay awake. Cold drinks. Um, radio wide open. Windows down. Eating some food. Getting out. Walking around the truck. All those are tricks that we use to stay up longer. And I'm glad I won't have to be going through that no more. You know, I'll be able to get into a, a regular weekly cycle of where I'm going to go, what I'm going to be doing. Just like right now, I'm doing this voiceover while I'm holding my wife's hand. And she, bless her heart, is sick with acute bronchitis. I believe it's pneumonia. They did not do an x-ray, but she feels so miserable. And I may be sending her to a different doctor tomorrow to get a second opinion. Don't squeeze my hand hard. She's being mean over here, y'all. She don't like going to doctors. And I don't blame her. But that's what's going on with us. Week number two under a direct shipper. Uh, it's It's been good. Last week was a pretty good revenue week considering, you know, I had that extra day on Saturday and I didn't start until Tuesday. It was really nice. You know, they they shoot me a phone call, tell me where they want me to go the next day. Then they type up the email and everything, and they send it to the powers that be. And we set it up, make it happen. And what do y'all think about this weather coming in, man? That storm blew through, and now we got the cold front coming down. It was in the 70s down here in Mississippi today. Mississippi and Louisiana. Man, it was nice. Didn't even hardly break a sweat unloading the trailer today. That was a shame. That's all that's going on with us. I wanted to do this quick little weekly uh, update. And I, I'm like I say, I'm going to try to do a video once a week at least. I just really haven't had time to do the videos. I made the footage. And tried to get everything where I could piece it together. And I got my crosses on my truck. At the end of this video, you'll see the installation of the new crosses and mud flaps. So y'all hang in there for that. Um, but the truck's running great. I did have a air governor 
it's actually a, like a pop-off valve that popped off and tried to stay wide open when I was over in Fort Walt Beach on Saturday, but I got it fixed. Everything seems to be okay with that. Hopefully, we'll keep it okay. Hopefully. So, I got a little bit of the homestead on here right before the installation of the crosses. So y'all can catch up on what's going on around the homestead. Like I said, we don't have our rabbits anymore. We still got the duck and the goats and the dogs. Our little gizmo, he did have his surgery on his little package. And he he's not doing really well. And the chickens ain't laying real well. So God bless. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next ride. Keep the shiny side up. All that good stuff. We are freshening up people's waters and stuff. We got to get some hay. Y'all see how them goats have done these pans? They have ate everything they can eat. And these little heifers over here, they've been bad. This one and this one been bad. See down there where that piece of tin is? The little brown dog, she dug through. And a little black dog dug through and they was able to go pen to pen. I keep them separated because they get very food aggressive. And they have tied up. And the little brown one end up limping. It's so sad. But they've been bad girls, so they got their baths today. That's their punishment, because they can't stand to have a bath, but they love to play in the water. Explain that to me. <laughs> but he's talking. Can't hear him out of the water running. But I got him a full pool of water. Now I'm going to roll up the hose, and I'm going to call it quits for the day. It's hot and sweaty. This is our before shot. You see how it got into there? Because it went to bouncing and stuff. And it somehow got wrapped up like this. Because they're so flimsy. But I think our new set won't allow that to happen. I'm fixing to install those now. So I'll be back with y'all in just a few minutes. Alright, here's our little crosses. And we've got us some hardened flaps. Got these old ones off. Now for the install. Don't forget your Dewalt moments before installation. We have them installed. I do think I'm gonna get new bolts for them. I'm not real crazy about these little bolts. I think they turned out all right. I do like the texture of the other one better. But these will work. They get the point across. I like them. Looks like it's been the rain, y'all. So I got them done just in time. I'm to hook this bad boy up. And I got to have it up there to get loaded in the morning. God bless. Catch you on the next one. It ain't just truckers that can be nasty. Just saying. <laughs>